The third temptation is the temptation to power and control. Jesus has offered all the kingdoms of the earth if he would worship the devil. I think that we can be quite partial to this temptation. We want power to create the world and our environment in our own image. We want power so we can make our world a safe and less vulnerable place for ourselves. And again, this is a self-centered temptation. The power and control that we crave is not to build up God's kingdom, but very often our own. This desire for power and control is also our way of being independent of everyone. When we have power and control, then we have no need for anyone else, possibly not even God. And this is what Jesus is reacting against when he says that humankind should only worship and serve God. John Donne, a poet of the Renaissance, wrote the following, No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If a clod of soil be washed away by the sea, Europe is less. Any man's death diminishes me because I am involved in mankind. The antidote to an addiction to power and control is to recognize that we are all in relationship with each other and ultimately with God. When are you tempted to use the power you have to try and control things and other people? <music>